Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Day of Guide to Where to Stay in Santorini. We're going to show you the Caldera Towns, the island's best beaches and places to stay. Let's get right into it. Most visitors to Santorini stay in the four scenic Caldera villages of Fira, Ia, Amerivigli, and Firostefani. In this video, we'll give a brief introduction to each of these areas, plus other parts of the island popular with visitors. These four towns are most famous because they line the edge along the crescent cliff of the island, facing into the caldera, Santorini's signature view. On Santorini, the word caldera is used to describe both the steep cliffside and the area of ocean created when the original volcano blew its top. Now, everything featured in this video and more is explained in greater depth at SantoriniDave.com with excellent maps and lots of great suggestions about the best restaurants, tours, wineries, and more. Plus, you'll find links to our detailed videos about all things Fantorini in the description below. First, we'll start with Fira, the island's largest town and one of the most picturesque spots in Greece. It's perched on the steep caldera cliff and has amazing views of the volcano. Fira is Santorini's busiest town with the greatest concentration of hotels, restaurants, nightlife, and shops. Sitting in any one of the myriad cafes with views out over the caldera is just spectacular. If you like action, shopping, lots of choice for where to eat, and dance clubs, then this is where you'll want to be. If you want peace and solitude, then you'll likely find Fira busy, hectic, and touristy. That said, if you're just a little off the main street, it's pretty quiet until you step into the fray. Fira has many hotels with wonderful caldera views, but also a large number that are back from the cliff and without a view, which means they're cheaper and makes Fira a good choice for travelers on a budget. As can be expected of the commercial and geographic center of the island, it's the hub of Santorini's bus network, so you can get pretty much anywhere on the island with just one bus ride. It takes roughly 30 minutes to get between Fira and Ia. The closest beach to Fira is in Kamari, about 15 minutes away by bus, and explored later on in this video. Let's have a look at some of our favorite hotels in Fira. Athena Luxury Suites enjoys a great location on the Fira caldera, overlooking the volcano with jaw-dropping views. Katikias Garden is family-friendly and set in an 11th century Venetian monastery. It's the only five-star hotel in Fira. Most of the hotel faces east toward the sunrise, though there are caldera views from the shared pool. Celestia Grand is a glamorous collection of luxury villas, all with kitchenettes, spacious terraces, private heated pools, and direct sunset views. And Aria is the best luxury hotel in Fira for families. It's a handful of large suites and one of the few luxury hotels on Santorini that allows young children, largely because it sits back from the caldera's edge. Ia is Santorini's fanciest town and the second most popular destination with many of the island's best hotels. Located at the northern tip of the island, it's famous for its fabulous sunset views. There's lots of high-end shopping, many great restaurants, and plenty of spots to enjoy a meal or sit and sip a cold drink. The town is busy through the day up until sunset when it's packed in high season, but then gets quiet quickly as many tourists return to other parts of the island after the sun is down. Much of the main area for visitors to Ia is pedestrian only, along a central marble promenade with lots of small lanes that descend between hotels on the caldera side and between shops and restaurants throughout the village. Most of Ia's best hotels face the caldera, which in Ia is facing south, not west, the direction of the sunset. This means that the hotels that do face the sunset do not look into the caldera. The vast majority of Ia hotels have a view of the sunset or caldera, but not both. The walk from Ia to Fira is beautiful, but takes several hours. So for the most part, Ia is a taxi or bus ride away from the hub of the island. Ia is full of amazing hotels. Here's a brief introduction to some of our favorites. Canaves Ia is a beautiful hotel with picturesque whitewashed cave suites, the pool, restaurant, and bar overlook the caldera. Canave Suites is one of the few Ia hotels with an elevator. Perivolas is a cave hotel with minimalist design, an incredible infinity pool, beautifully landscaped with great views. Andronis Arcadia is a quiet, family-friendly luxury hotel with beautiful gardens. It faces the sunset, not the caldera. 
Food is quite impressive here, as are the amazing pool and spa. Saint is a new luxury hotel in the caldera in Ia's quieter eastern edge with stunning modern architecture and a fabulous pool and restaurant. The Meravigli is Santorini's quietest town along the caldera and has the island's best sunset views as the orientation is toward the west. The cliff is higher here and the view of the sunset is unimpeded by any neighboring islands, which isn't the case in Fira and Firo Stefani. Ameravigli is also home to some of the island's best resorts, with sheer drop-offs down the cliffside below the hotel rooms and patios covering the hillside. Ameravigli is a 20 to 30 minute walk from Fira along the beautiful walking path, or a short bus or taxi ride. Ameravigli doesn't have a lot of restaurants, but the ones that are here are all excellent. There are a few bars, but very limited nightlife in Ameravigli. Here are some of our favorite hotels in Ameravigli. Astra is one of the top hotels in Greece, with 30 suites cascading down the hillside. The infinity pool and restaurant look out into the caldera, and sunset views are among the best on the island. Cavotagu is a stylish luxury hotel with a hip, trendy vibe, incredible sunsets, and one of the best pools along the caldera, plus amazing food and drinks in a festive atmosphere with live DJs. Iconic is a beautiful luxury hotel offering astounding caldera views throughout the property with a variety of sweet types. Perched on one of the highest points in the caldera, Ainaun is a serene hideaway with expansive views of the caldera sunset and the Aegean sunrise from its small collection of exclusive villas. Firo Stefani is a short 10-minute walk along the footpath from Fira. If you want to be close to the action of Fira, but don't want the crowds, then Firo Stefani is a great choice. Caldera views here are equally dramatic and wonderful. There are 10 to 12 restaurants in the area, a bakery, shops, and a couple of markets, but not the nightlife of close by Fira. Here are a couple of our favorite Firo Stefani hotels. Citares is a magical little hotel with fantastic views and a gorgeous pool. There are a few steps and little climbing is required to stay here. Antilles Suites has a magical mix of dreamy sunsets, supreme hospitality, and tranquil surroundings, also with fewer stairs than most other caldera hotels. If visiting or staying near the beach appeals to you, or you have a longer stay on the island, you'll want to check out some of Santorini's towns away from the caldera, which include Camari, Parissa, Perivolos, Pyrgos, Akrotiri, and Megalochori. It is possible to spend a few nights on the caldera, and a few nights elsewhere for variety. Here's more about Santorini's best villages not on the caldera. Kamari, on the other side of the island, has a wonderful family-friendly atmosphere, a pedestrian beachfront walkway, and plenty of good restaurants, if not the great ones found in the most popular areas of Santorini. Kamari has a pebble beach, and the swimming is cool, refreshing, and wonderful, with crystal clear waters. There's also the lovely Kamari open-air cinema, one of the best outdoor cinemas in Europe, showing English-language movies nightly and serving cocktails and snacks in a charming atmosphere. It's a 15-minute bus ride to Fira from Kamari, making day trips to the caldera quite easy. Parissa Beach has nicer sand than Kamari, but it's farther from Fira than Kamari, which makes visiting the caldera a bit more time-consuming. A few new luxury hotels and upscale restaurants have opened here, though there are still plenty of great, affordable hotels and low-key restaurants and bars all along the pedestrian-friendly beach road. Parissa offers a nice alternative to the crowded caldera villages, with sunrise sea views and direct access to the water. Perivolos is an extension of Parissa Beach. There's no defining border between the two towns. Parissa is the northern, busier section. Perivolos is the southern, quieter section and the name Parissa is often used for the whole strip of coast. Perivolos has a few new luxury hotels opening up, as well as some fine dining restaurants and upscale beach clubs, especially at the south end of the beach strip, Ayos Yordios Beach. Perivolos is emerging as the most luxurious beachfront area in Santorini. It takes about 30 minutes to get to Fira from here by bus. Pyrgos is the most charming of Santorini's traditional villages, From its mountaintop perch at the highest point on the island, it offers panoramic sunset views over the whole of Santorini. This is an ideal place to stay in for living like a local in an area that's not the caldera or the beach. Most of Pyrgos is pedestrian only, with its maze-like footpaths dotted with restaurants, local boutiques, 
picturesque churches, and the ruins of a Venetian castle. The foothills surrounding the village are full of vineyards and wineries, many offering tours and tasting rooms. From the main square, it's about a 10-minute bus ride into Fira. Akrotiri is a catch-all name for the village, ruins, and southern peninsula of Santorini. The village itself is quite small, with just a few restaurants, chapels, and castle ruins. From the village and the main bus stop, it's only a 15-minute walk to the excavation site of the prehistoric town of Akrotiri, believed to have inspired the legend of Atlantis. The ruins are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the main attraction in this part of the island. The Akrotiri Peninsula is also home to several of Santorini's best beaches, including Red Beach, White Beach, Vlihara Beach, and Caldera Beach, and great views of the rest of the island looking north. At its western tip is a lighthouse, which is the quietest and most romantic sunset viewpoint on the island. A car is strongly recommended to stay in this area, as most of the hotels, restaurants, beaches, and attractions are fairly spread out over the peninsula. Megalhori is a charming labyrinth of winding alleys, traditional houses, and churches, with ornate bell towers and a good number of trees. The central plaza is full of charming sidewalk cafes and tavernas. A handful of boutique hotels offer views of the sea and vineyards in the surrounding hills that ring the village. And Megalahori is home to the oldest and one of our favorite vineyards on the whole island, the fifth-generation family-run Gavalis Winery. While most first-time visitors to the island choose hotels in the four main towns along the caldera, returning visitors or those with enough time to stay in multiple locations may enjoy some of the other areas we've discussed. Check out our Santorini Travel Guide for more detailed information, including where to eat, what to do, ferry port information, the best beaches, wineries, and tours. We've also got lots of other great travel guides to Greece and beyond at SantoriniDave.com and across this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com. Thanks for watching.